Hi. Hi. So I'm actually a mermaid that happens to be cosplaying an evil queen, so please don't fillet me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so personally, I would have liked to see more mermaids on the show, and I was wondering if there were any characters that you would have liked to see more on the show. Um, mm, I mean, I think we pretty much covered it. Maybe some more Dalmatians. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been nice I to have dogs. more fun, have more puppies and have more fun with puppies on set, but that doesn't ever really work out the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> I learned because I tried to get rats in my episode. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm against rats. Animals. I like but yeah, more dogs. Um, no, I think we covered a lot of characters. So. I think it was great that you were Ursula too. That was really that was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was really cool. Thank you so much. Thanks. You look great. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> as a mermaid. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hi. I was just wondering, of all the props that were made for Once Upon a Time, do you have a favorite? Um. that they've made. I would say the daggers. The, I just think they're so cool. Um, Rumble's dagger is really cool. It's It has a weight to it that I really like. I mean, I never, it wasn't mine. You asked me about my personal props, because I didn't get a lot of props, because I'm magical. Just any of I always had the magic. Uh, I would say the dagger is one, and um, all the swords were cool. <laughs> You're like, Lana, you like sharp things. <laughs> um, it's like the tomboy in me that likes that stuff. Um, but I loved all the heart boxes as well. I just thought our props department is incredible and what they did for our show and all that they created. And we couldn't have done it without them. So there's, uh, yeah, truly, probably. props to the props department. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome. Hi. Hi, my name is Kyler, and I wanted to ask you, what would you ask David Boy in the height of being inspired by him, if you were alive, but in the height of when you were being inspired by him, during the time you needed him? I'm sorry? Like, what would you ask David Boy? Oh, David Bowie. David Bowie. I, I, I heard something totally different. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> How is life on Mars? Because <laughs> he was an alien, so I truly believe that. Um, you're like, really? Do you guys um, Yeah, that's what I would ask him. Thank you. Hi. Hi, I'm Amber. I'm so excited. I'm shaking. But um, my question was, in a lot of interviews you've said that you have a really, really big heart and that that kind of has been a struggle and a blessing at the same time when like, you get hurt easily because you put too much faith into people, things like that. And Regina is a lot like that too in um, The Evil Queen. So I was just wondering how you help channel that and to play Evil Queen and Regina and Ronnie, I guess. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know. I don't think The Evil Queen is like that. She I didn't mean, really put her, I mean, she didn't, she, I mean, she was always, she was disappointed in diff for different re reasons, but yeah, just from like the first episode, I could tell like that there was a story behind it. Oh right, and it was because she cared so uh, much. Okay, about you're it. saying she had such a big heart mm -hmm. that she was, yes. So um, I don't know. I I feel like sometimes I sometimes I see something that I feel is there with the character, and and it's kind it kind of becomes this marriage between what the writers are writing and what I am getting from from the writing. Um, but I think, I think it is something that we had in common was, you know, this big heart and, um, I guess it just informed the role because I understood what it's like to feel deeply and be sensitive and be hurt and all those things that Regina and the Queen went through. So it was kind of... Well, I love that because yeah, I identify it. Yeah, I can, I can, yeah, definitely relate to some of her... Mm -hmm experiences in some way, or at least for pain. I understood it. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. 
Hi, my question is, how does it make you feel to see all of us here dressed up, inspired by Regina and the Evil Queen? I love it. I just keep seeing one beautiful costume after another, and, and they're so elaborate and so unique, and I like seeing how everyone has their own little take on the costumes as well. It's like a little bit of them and a little bit of Queen, um, which is really cool. It's a nice marriage. Um, I, I love it, and I'm constantly blown away by the talent in these rooms, because I've seen so many drawings and these costumes and books that have been written, and it's remarkable how a, a TV show like Once Upon a Time and these characters have continued to inspire and, and create art outside of the show, so I, I love it. And what are you wearing? Because you're sparkly, but I can't quite see that arm. Sorry, it's dark over there. It's an inspiration of, I think, that a leather costume that you like so much. A little bit of you, a little bit of her. Yes. Hey, that's what I felt. Thank look you. great. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Lana. My name is Dessa, and I want to say thank you to you and the characters of uh, Once Upon a Time. Because every day, every time you guys would come on, I'd get a phone call from my daughter and say, it's on! <coughs> so I'd have to hurry up and watch you guys. Oh. But my question is, uh, in season one, how did you feel when Emma came back about the mixture between Henry and yourselves? Uh, you mean as the character? Yes. Uh -huh. Well, I think she felt very threatened. Right. Because... <laughs> She, well, first of all, was awake, but we didn't know that. And then, so take that out of the equation, she just was threatened. I think a lot of people would be threatened if someone, if a, you know, a biological mother came into her son or daughter's life later in that the years. Sweet, and, that yeah. was your sweet side. Was there ever the other side thinking of anything? Evil queen. Oh, like she wanted to rip her heart out and uh, crush it? <laughs> uh, probably. Yeah, she was quite contained to the best of her ability. Well, she had no magic. Right. So, I mean, I guess she would probably want to take a baseball bat to her, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> like a little bit of Ronnie in her somewhere? Good question. Do you believe in magic? Yes, I do. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love you, and I have a bit of a fun question. So yeah. I'm a dance teacher, and I want to know if you have any fun dance moves that are your go-tos or your favorites that you like to pull out sometimes. I don't know how to dance. <laughs> this is a setup. <laughs> I'm not falling for it. Um, you know what? I just like to dance to the music. There isn't like a go-to move. I think maybe when I, back in the 90s I had my moves. You know, like, everyone was like, oh, it's the Cabbage Patch. No, it's the, um, uh, what is it? Exactly, see what I mean? Uh, the worm. There was, like, all these... <laughs> the worm? The worm. Um, but now, I just, like, I just feel it. And whatever I feel, I think, if anything, probably has, like, a Latin twist to it. Because I like to dance a lot of music, so it's like, there's always a little bit of hip, a little extra hip action, a little extra kick. <laughs> so, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Woo. I thought she was going to be like, can you do the Roger Rabbit? Hi. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I was wondering, how did you feel at the end of the show? Oh my gosh. Sad. Oh. I cried a lot. I cried for a good month prior. Oh. And, um, it was really hard, and then I hid in my trailer because I knew I was done, but they didn't wrap me because they didn't want to wrap me. So I was like, well, what, do, what do we do? Because it's going to be a wrap soon. So they wrapped me at wrap. Um, and I hid in my trailer because that was really emotional. Yeah, it was... It's not easy to walk away from all these people you love that are in a different country now. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. 
Um, you have said is a really big inspiration for me growing up, and I was wondering if you had anyone as a child to do the same for you. It's been an inspiration? Mm -hmm. My aunt, my Aunt Candy. Yeah. Thank you. She's, she's been a cornerstone for me. Thank you, I love you. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Um, I just want to know, what is your favorite restaurant in this world? Um, I haven't tried all of them, but I went to this Moroccan place last night, and it was really good. And you guys should go to the Moroccan restaurant because apparently it's like kind of hidden and behind something, and a lot of people don't really know it's there, and it's excellent. So definitely give it a shot. Yeah. Just something this Moroccan. <laughs> it's good. to know what is one thing you would never do for a role. I got the role and I'm in the part and they're asking me to do something that I don't no, like want to do. you're at an audition and they're like, okay, we're going to need your character to do this. And you're like, nope, walk away. Well, yeah, they were like, you're going to have to kill something or beat something or... I feel like I can eat something. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's like not common. Like, I think Leo ate the heart of something. I might be able to eat the heart of something. <laughs> um, uh, it's a tough one because there's a lot of like, you know, controversial roles out there that you end up playing as an actor and you're going, oh my God, this person's such a, I was going to say something really bad to the children in the room. Um, and you're like, why would I want to portray a character like this? But there's, you know, as long as, I mean, sometimes they, you don't have happy endings. Sometimes these characters aren't redeemed. Sometimes you're just the bad guy. Sometimes you're just the jerk. Um, but as an actor, when you're portraying that part, you're like, this is just a character I'm portraying. And there are people like that in the world. Um, so I think it's sometimes hard for actors because I feel like they get blamed for things that, you know, they're just playing a character. And it's like, well, it's your responsibility. You take this. It's like, well, no, I'm, it's called acting. It's not a real thing. Sometimes I'm like, are you booing me? I was, not, I was in the middle of a really good question. But um, that's okay. Thank you. Um, anyway, I wouldn't hurt an animal. That's my, that's my answer. Sorry. No problem. All right, I'm going. Hey, guys. Thanks so much. This has been a lot of fun. I normally ask for the lights up so I can see everyone, but uh, so I can't see you all. But um, thank you so much for being here. And this has been an incredible tour. And, um, and we wouldn't be here without you guys. So we love you, we love you too. Love you. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here this weekend.